guys, this is Akinia. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be playing This is the Police. So, I've never played this game before. I have seen a few episodes by some other YouTubers. And it looks really, really interesting. So, I wanted to give it a go. Uh, so, I may be really bad at this. Uh, we shall see. Day 1, July 15th, Monday. Uh, so, there was... A cutscene introduction that I decided not to film mainly because it was already through by the time I managed to get to this part but that's okay we're just gonna get straight into it Mayor Rogers sex maniac mark war two to be shown in Freeburg the day before the worldwide premiere by the mayor's personal request City Hall confirms rumors of Jack Boyd's resignation Alright, let's go to work. It's a nice sounding car you got there. Was when I was a kid, my father sometimes told me at bedtime that if I closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time, all the demons would blow away. Yesterday I turned 60, but I still take his advice. Not because I'm sentimental or want to keep the memory of my father alive. I just can't think of a better solution. To get away from all the demons that haunt Freeburg, I'd need to wear a blindfold 24-7. Plus, it's a good idea to act blind when talking to reporters. At least, that's what my colleagues say. They're afraid of press conferences. But for me, it's more like a confessional. No matter what lies you tell, you're privately thinking the honest answers. It helps me remember who I am. The fact that I'll be reading all about it in the papers tomorrow is a small price to pay. Call it penance for the preacher. That's a little bit weird. Alright. I like the sound effects. Especially this the is the first time I'm afraid of those answers my mind has given me. Not because I'm mad I'm losing my job. Though it's true, I'm mad as hell. Not because I subconsciously blame everyone else. Though I damn sure do blame them. And don't even ask me what my next move is. I can't imagine. But even that doesn't scare me. The worst thing is, I know I'm gonna have to do something. And I'll be damned if I know how far I'll go. I may have a lot of vices, but predictability isn't one of them. It's probably good. Packed in court. No, it's not a court. I learned a long time ago how to drive away the swarming demons. But what do you do when they're trying to rip your soul from your skin? Very vivid imagery. Shutting my eyes tight as I can. The best solution remains the same. Play blind. I just hope the reporters think I was blinded by the camera flash. Mm-hmm. May not work out how you hope. Alrighty. That's... Nope. Am I meant to do that? Oh, good morning. Yesterday, the mayor's office officially announced your resignation. Did this come as a surprise, or did you know about it in advance? Uh, surprise. I thought I'd be working as a policeman for another five to ten years. I just want to serve the city. I was very surprised, of course. Do you already know the name of your successor? I th no, I think it's a new man. I think it'll be a department veteran. Who cares? I think it's a new man. I think they'll bring in some new blood. Fresh mind to take a fresh look at the problem. After the recent corruption scandal, your deputy Francis Kendrick said he was looking forward to resigning. If mayor offered him your position, would that change his mind? Uh, I'm gonna say... No. He's made up his mind to leave. I don't see anything affecting that decision. Good answer. Although Kendrick was acquitted, many still believe that the police are cooperating with the Mafia. Do you have anything to say about this? Um. I don't know. Bullshit. I don't know. I've never worked with the Mafia, but I can't speak for every man and woman in the department. I can't follow all my appointments around the clock. 
Do you think your personal relationship with the mayor could be the reason behind your retirement? Possibly. It's often difficult to say what guides policy decisions. Also, very good answer. Thank you. Oh, I think we did fabulously, guys. How's the back today, Mr. Boyd? Same as usual. How did the press conference go? You can read about it in the newspapers tomorrow. Don't let anyone in. Even Mr. Kendrick? Especially <coughs> Mr. Kendrick. Ooh. Harsh. I really like this art style. The kind of like comic book-esque feeling that it's giving off. Pretty awesome. The way that it's telling the story without doing like full animations. I think that's great. Like really good creativity <sighs> must have gone into this to even think of this concept. As soon as I heard the door creak, I knew what face I'd see. When I tell Emma not to let anyone in, there's only one man it could be. Rude, arrogant, no warning. That's Mayor Rogers in a nutshell. White summer shoes, white socks, white shorts, white polo shirt, and the white precious. smile of a hungry shark. Mayor face. Rogers enters every room face. like he owns the place. Even the floorboards under his feet sound like they're creaking an apology. <laughs> he never shied away from the odd corruption scheme. It's like the devil walks behind him. In the movies, the villains controlling the city play golf with the judges. Rogers plays tennis with them instead. That's about the only difference. Jack, I was hoping to catch you after the press conference. You, uh, you ran away so quick. There's no smoking at City Hall. No reason for me to hang around. Well... This morning, I signed a ban on smoking in all public buildings. Soon, you won't be able to smoke here, either. <laughs> Soon enough, I won't be here at all. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. The people of this city like you, Jack. The police chief, of all people. <laughs> don't, uh, don't betray that, Jack. Don't get wrapped up in any schemes. Sit nice and quiet for the next 180 days, and uh, and you'll be remembered as a That's hero. A long time. That's the only thing that you still have left. Half a year. Be the hero. <clears throat> then how am I supposed to scrape together a retirement fund? You had a million chances to secure a luxury pension, one that even I would have envied. Although I've never set aside any money for myself. I'm not planning to retire anytime soon. Oh, I don't like him already. 180 no, days of quiet, Jack. That's all I need. I don't have any problems with you, and you won't have any problems with me. Mm. I have a new assistant, Troy Starr. If you have something to tell me, call him. But try not to bother him. He's a he's a busy man. <laughs> I'll do my best. And quit smoking up the office. One of my friends will be using it soon. All right, checkpoint. That was day one. Day two. Head of culture department owns the villa in Italy. Jack Boyd's resignation has no influence on Francis Kendrick's decision to withdraw. Civil servants' wages won't be raised this year. Go to work. Uh, 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 I think you need to get that serviced. Cops don't use the police station cafeteria anymore. There's some kind of stigma against sitting shoulder to shoulder with your partners. Everybody just takes snacks from the machines or grabs a meal and hammers it down in the corner like a vulture on a corpse. The main thing? Don't look into anyone's eyes. Could be construed as an invitation to sit together. The only people eaten here are ghosts. My deputy, Francis Kendrick. He recently became one of those ghosts. The subject of one of the most devastating corruption scandals in the history of Freeburg. 
No evidence to support the accusations, but everyone knows Kendrick's days are numbered. I need that file I asked for. Needs to be ready tonight. Francis didn't say anything, but I understood. Ghosts aren't supposed to talk. Besides, I got a feeling he was already finished. <laughs> All right, tutorial. Um, yeah, probably a good idea to tell me what to do. Freeberg PD organizes upcoming work assignments into shifts for today and tomorrow. Every shift, officers respond to crimes in progress and the detectives continue their investigations. You can freely move employees between shifts. All officers and detectives possess several important characteristics. Professionalism shows the overall efficiency level of your policemen. A figure around 150 is considered average. Anyone who falls short of this mark is not reliable. Those who are considerably higher than average are a safe bet, even at a pinch. An individual's level of professionalism may rise or fall over the course of their career. Energy is how tired they are. Your employees lose one point of energy after each working day. Your employees don't tell you everything. Some additional characteristics are hidden from view. Some are lazy, some drink too much. You can only guess about these things, but you should be able to draw your own conclusions based on their behaviour. Makes sense? Alright, let's start the day. Oh, some nice rock and music. Let's turn that up a little bit. All right, we are open for business. We have Kochi, Yancey, Purdy, Zubaki, Asano, Austin, Price, and the SWAT team. Uh, you need to send your officers to the crime scene before the timer expires. The farther away the destination, the longer it will take. So the longer your people will be tied up and unavailable for upcoming work. Makes sense. So I guess I just click on it. Right. The easiest way to determine the difficulty is to check how many units are allowed. The more units you can send, the more serious the threat. Awesome. Um, and only from the location of the crime scene to the presence of weapons and so on. All of this can tell you how seriously each case should be taken. The mission might look simple until it turns into a brutal, brutal meat grinder. Man. All right. A married couple who exited a convenience store and saw a van in a parking lot back over a homeless man who had been digging through a trash can. The driver jumped out to help, but after he saw that he'd hit a bun, he got into the van and quickly drove away. Um, Asano. Off you go. I think you can do that one by yourself. Doesn't seem all that hard. Alright, the last picture show theatre. Uh, theatre manager reports that during a showing of Citizen Kane, a drunk man attempted to force his way into the theatre carrying a snowboard. When he was denied entry, he violently attacked the cashier and is currently fighting with the security guard. This seems like something that we're going to send. Nope. I can just click. That's a lot easier. Send two guys over there. Two of my best guys. <coughs> there we go. Anything else? Ooh, they're almost there. Uh oh. That sounds sound good. When everything goes well, the police capture the criminal and nobody dies. But as the truth is, sometimes the criminals manage to escape. Just try to avoid any dead cops or civilians. Dead cops will hurt your roster, and dead citizens will bother the mayor. Asano! You let him get away. Oh, this music is awesome. I feel like I'm in a jazz festival. Alright. Offender court. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. Good work, team. Have we got anything else? Ooh. Suburbs. Three teenagers armed with a shotgun robbed a videotape store and made off with an entire collection of adult movies. The criminals fled in a car, but the store manager broke down the license plate. The owner is Janet Brown, who lives in the suburbs. Alright. Send two guys. Oh, I hope this isn't a big one. 
brother and sister clashed with each other over their deceased father's will. According to one of their lawyers, we don't dare separate them, and our security guard is off duty tonight. Alright, we'll send two of you. <coughs> I hope somebody gets back soon, because we've only got Price, and he's not a very good police officer, according to his experience. Or star value, or whatever it's called. I don't know. Professionalism. He doesn't have very much professionalism. Ghetto. A passerby saw some teenagers attack an elderly magician, then run away with his guitar and money. Oh, three. Purdy, uh, Yancey, and Price. Right. When cops aren't sure how to proceed, they might contact you and ask you to handle the situation. Try to deal with whatever comes up, but don't waste all your time on this stuff. You have plenty of other problems on your plate. Um, <coughs> the vehicle is parked outside the Brown residence. The sounds of moaning and loud laughter can be heard through the living room window. Um, knock on the door and say open up police, maybe? Offender court? Offender officers unharmed. Good work, team. We are doing well. Who's that? Report. Austin and Yancey. Why would you let them get away? Come on, guys. Okay, who else we got? Those three. Oop, night time. Alright, Kochi's almost back. Sabaki's almost back. Sano and Austin are almost back. It's good. Alright, report. Offender court, officers unharmed. Everyone gets 10 points. Awesome. Alrighty. Anything else? I wonder what time the day finishes. Ah. Oh, 8 o'clock. Awesome. I'm just waiting for those three to get back and we are all done. Coolios. Overtime. If you think you need a couple of extra hands tomorrow, you can order any, any cop to come in and work overtime. But if they're working flat out, they'll be much more exhausted. Somebody is bound to make a mistake. Alright, shift to A. I assume this is tomorrow's shift. Um, maybe well, none of them are really tired at the moment, so let's make Purdy come back tomorrow. So then we've got a few more people on, and that's good. All right, day three. Used to be when I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked to grumble and crack wise. Nowadays, he doesn't have the strength for it. Slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past few weeks, I don't hardly recognize my old friend. In his younger years, he reminded me of a gallant royal officer in an old Kipling story. Kendrick isn't just crumbling under the weight of the public pressure, but from the shame of it all. Internal affairs raided the library he inherited from his grandfather hoping they'd find buckets of cash stashed in the pages. Heard about the look on his face, <coughs> the fearless policeman standing helpless in horror. I've known Francis for 30 years. The past 20 years, he's played loose with the law. And I know that at a certain point, every stolen dollar brings more misery than anything else. Why do I feel Probably like you're going to start stealing? Crazy, but I sympathize with the guy. What can I do? Your friends are your friends, and these are the waters we swim in. Hmm. Called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business, so you could get a call from any of them. You don't need to worry about any of them. I've cleared them all. And what kind of business are we talking here? It's nothing too serious, just like you asked. Should be just a few small favors. <laughs> Pay knew it. Vary depending on the situation and who you're dealing with. How much are you looking to earn? Ooh, Half a million. It's getting complicated. Half a million? Why not a whole million? Because everybody wants to take a million. Figured I'd try something different. <laughs> Half a million in 180 days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. I like Whether how this is giving you a choice. Figure. Well, you never got into my business. And I'm not trying to get into yours. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. Sooner or later, they'll put the finger on you. 
And and one more thing, Jack. I remember what you said, but I should probably add one more name to that list. Christopher Sand. Sand. Christopher G. Sand. Everyone knows the name, but few could tell you who he is. <coughs> the old man stays away from the spotlight. Always wears old-fashioned jeans and knitted sweaters. Gives to charity. Rarely attends social events. An avid hunter, I hear. Even dabbles in poetry. You'd never guess he's the head of the oldest and most powerful gang in the city. Goes back as far as his great-grandfather. And Sand is strict about following the old rules. He rarely involves himself in commonplace murders and robberies. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone to get his point across. The people who work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection where needed, even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Meanwhile, Sand pulls the strings without getting his hands dirty. People sometimes mistake his quiet approach. A couple years ago, an arms dealer decided to expand its business without asking permission, and his whole family paid the price. In four weeks, Sand killed 31 people, old men, women, even a few teenagers. And Sand's people made sure every paper reported it. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack, please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. I don't go there. Never have, never will. Okay, so what I'm kind of getting from this at the moment is this is going to be a game that allows you, allows you to go down some different paths. So I'm thinking one of those paths is going to be the kind of illegitimate illegal path where you kind of do favours, um, get people out of things, look the other way and ignore certain things. And each time you do that you get a little bit of money. I think, I'm not sure about this, but I think the other path is going to be something like he was saying before, netting the big fish. So I'm thinking Christopher Sands is going to have a part to play. And I think if you can manage to get Christopher Sands on a crime, you get paid a big bonus, which will give you your half a million dollars. So I think it's you either go the illegitimate illegal route or you go the legal kind of heroic route, which is really interesting. I'm liking it, if that's what it is. <coughs> Alright, what day are we at? I think it's day three. Does that sound about right? Alright, when a police officer is too tired, he will ask for the day off. Sometimes officers will request days, even when they're at full strength. For some reasons you'll hear are far-fetched. Don't overindulge, but don't antagonise. Everyone's got secrets, you've got to make sure you have these guys back. It's my dog's birthday. I want to spend the day with her at the park. Um, no. Sorry, but that's pretty stupid. Uh, in addition to performance ratings, police officers possess rank. They begin at the lowest rank and achieve can be elevated with one, two, or three stripes. You can pass out stripes once a week to improve the rank of any employee. If you think that no one is worthy, you can postpone until later. Okay. I don't want to give him... Why do I want to give Birch Jr. a thing? Um, not only increase professionalism, but also learn to command. Whenever a ranking officer is on scene, his or her colleagues are more likely to perform better. They get more serious about their service, there's going to be less drinking, more time spent on the job. Interesting. Um, parody. I want to give. Can I, there you go. Awesome. Let's start the day. This is going to be the last day for this episode as well. Freeburg isn't one of those cities where you can, where you listen to what they say or nothing at all. You can always select any song from your collection and play it at any time. Uh, that looks pretty good. Sweet Ginger Green, Pierce Picking, Pierce Pickering Ragtime 5. What else have we got? 
Bud Meets Bob by Bud Freeman. A singing him John Stangster. Don't you leave me here. Pierce Pickering, Barrel House Jazz Band. Billabong, Len Bernard, Bob Bernard. <laughs> Frederick Choppin, Nocturne in B Major. Let's play that. Ooh. Smooth piano. Lovely. Alright. Off we go. Let's learn how to hire and fire a cop. Can I fire Roy? Affairs. Labor market. You have a certain number of paid job openings for which you can hire. Job slots are separated between officers and detectives. I don't want to hire you. I wanna... Can I hire you? I have four shift here. Can I hire anyone else or is that it? Oh, personnel. Want to free up a slot? Time to fire somebody. Roy, fire. If you have legal grounds, no one will ask questions. But that could. Uh, Any way to free up a slot to have another place. <laughs> another way to free up a slot is to have a police officer killed, but that's not a valid option, right? Fire legally, too old. Sure. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get in trouble for that. Who else do I wanna hire? Um, you look pretty great. Uh, hire for shift B. And none of you look good. Um, I hired that guy because he's got glasses and they say people with glasses are really smart. Which is what you wanted detective to be, right? <coughs> that was not stereotypical at all. Frightened call from the local cathedral. The abbot discovered that somebody had entered the cemetery during the night and broken tombstones, painted satanic symbols, even marks from a shovel. Ugh. Alright, uh, let's go Purdy and Robbins. Good luck, guys. Stay safe. Alright. About an hour in. Atticus Towers. Looked at us when I saw two teenagers scratching offensive slogans on his brand new car. Alright, well there's three slots. I don't think we're going to need three people. But we're going to give them... We're going to give three anyway. That's alright. So we have four people left. Roy is being fired tomorrow. So that's fine. The other three, like, suck. So that's not good. Vandalism report. Um, can you guys please hurry home? Oh, ow. Suspicious individual. Uh, she just served chicken, Eddie, and Diet Coke to a dangerous criminal who should sit on the television just this morning. The culprit is sitting at the window eating a burger. I do not think that that is going to be the culprit. Is he just sitting there eating a burger? I think it's unlikely. Okay, messages. <coughs> Offender court, officers unharmed. Good work, Purdy. Oh, vandalism report. How'd you go? Offender court, officers unharmed. Good work, guys. You are very professional. And or you are average. I can't remember. What was average? Oh well. Um, everyone's coming home now. It's pretty good. 2 p.m. We've got about... Uh, what time is it? Just four or five hours left. Suspicious individuals. Yep. Wages had mistaken the officer for the fugitive in question. Thought so. Alright, nightclub. Mr. Boyd, my bouncer stuffed himself with Mexican food and can't get off the can. Meantime, the line outside is stretching around the block. We need someone who can tell the cool guys from the punks. Uh, you can have the oldest guy in my set. Take him away. He was the lowest level person that I could give you. Alright. Three hours left. Have you got anything for me? Come on, guys. Awesome. 27 minutes. Anonymous call a 
clown carrying balloons at a skating room is selling crack to teenagers. That's not good. Uh, you too. And... Oh, hang on. Send it here. Naked man carrying a canister of gasoline is threatened to set himself on fire unless his favourite chewing gum becomes popular again. Um, let's send you two. What's this? What is this? Oh, I can hire someone? Did somebody die? Huh. Oh, no, somebody quit. Sorry, Chief, I quit and one night I poured in more cash than I earned in a month working at this dump. I guess I wasn't cut out to be a cop. That's fine. I didn't want you anyway. Thanks for your help, Mr. Lloyd. $4,500. Awesome. Okay, how are we going? Pretty good. Got about no time left. Where's my end of the day thing? Oh. As police arrive, they see a clown making balloon animal. Cover up in a raincoat, pretend to be a customer. Carefully watch, take the clown. Let's carefully watch. Offender court, officers unharmed. Good work. Staval? I wonder if that's how you pronounce that. I'm gonna call him Staval. That sounds fun. How'd you guys go? You let him get away? Well, at least he didn't uh, kill himself, because I think that's what it was. Awesome! So, this is the end of day three, I think it was. I hope you guys are enjoying this brand new uh, series that I'm going to do. A um, really interesting game. It's very different than most things that I've played before. I'm really liking the kind of comic-like art style that's going on in this game. It's, it's a really interesting game. I really like it. I hope you guys do too. Um, feel free to leave any suggestions in the comments down below, as well as if you want to see me play any other games, leave that in the uh, leave that in the comments down below as well, so I can see it and find the games and play what you'd like to see. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a lovely day. I shall see you in the next one. Bye. Um, I did not mean to do that.